أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين ينفقون بالسراء والضراء والكاظمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين سورة 3 الإمران verse 134 those who spend freely, whether in prosperity or in adversity, who restrain anger and pardon all men, for Allah loves those who do good. Assalamu alaikum. The eight would like to perform a short play illustrating one of the virtues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al Ghaffar, the forgiver of wrongs and hider of faults. This play is a familiar incident to many of us. Two best friends find themselves arguing. Each is confronted with the option to forgive and recognize that human beings make mistakes or hold a grudge. Each friend finds that it is difficult to forgive when there is a conflict in the heart. This conflict is between the devil and the conscience. However, each begins to understand that forgiving is not as hard as it seems. The previous day, Azra catches her best friend making fun of her. Azra is outraged at this joke. She decides to confront her best friend. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, there's something important I need to talk to you about. Um, well, okay. Yeah, just take a seat and I'll tell you. Okay, let me start. Um, yesterday I saw you imitating me to some of your friends, and I was angry that you could do something like that to me behind my back. Who, me? Would I do a thing like that? Actually, you would. You were just oversensitive. Oversensitive? How else am I supposed to react? Act as if nothing happened, forget that my best friend made me a laughing stock. Dream on. Just don't know how to have fun. Ugh. Why are we friends anyway? We can't even communicate properly. Leave me alone. Fine. Both go home upset. Azra starts crying and goes to her bedroom. Shaitan sees this as his chance. Maybe I should. I don't think that's a good idea. But she betrayed me. How many times do we betray Allah when we disobey Him, even if you do wrong? Allah still forgives us and hides our faults. So go forgive your friend. It's not that hard if you think about it. What? I don't agree with you. You can't be trusted. Why should she forgive her friend? Because Allah forgives us all the time. The conscious reminded Azra that Rasulullah said, Have mercy on the jewelers of the earth. The Lord of the heaven will have mercy on you. Meanwhile, Nelly is in her bedroom confused about what she should do. Shaitan comes to influence her decision. Who does she think she is? Exactly. Where do you come from? I've been around. I saw it happen today. Don't apologize to her if you're going to take it from me. She's not worth it. I suppose. But I still want to be friends. Well then, still be friends. Who are you? Never mind who I am. You are wrong to imitate your friend. Just go and forgive us all. I can forgive you too. Maybe. Don't listen to your conscience. Don't forgive. Don't listen to Shaitan. Forgive. Don't forgive. Forgive, forgive, forgive. After three days of cooling, both friends meet. As in a hadith, it is not allowable for a person to keep away from each other for more than three days. The better of the two is the one who greets first. Assalamu alaikum. You go first. Okay, well, I'd like to apologize for what I did yesterday. Can you please find in your heart to forgive me? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. Life is too short. Anger and hatred is not worth it. We can thank Allah for our reconciliation. 